And the Browns special teams unit on Sunday was just frankly not good enough. Steve, you want to take this full? They had four, and boy, you actually pointed out, it may even be five major miscues in the game against the Cincinnati Bengals. They allowed the opening 100-yard kick return touchdown. They missed a field goal. They missed an extra point. Foreman decided to, instead of taking a knee in the end zone, take it out, got tackled at the seven, forced a ridiculously long drive that they ended up punting on anyway. And, bro, you mentioned they had the long punt return they allowed as well. The special teams unit this year has not been what it was last year. Dustin Hopkins has regressed. Outside of Bjorquez, the whole unit kind of looks like it's just in shambles. Let's start with the kicker, first of all. Yeah, you can start with Hopkins. The the guy, the Browns have violated, in my opinion, two rules, and and they've screwed up amongst the many other things. Never draft a kicker, never pay a kicker. Now, the first one is a 100% never draft a kicker. The second one, there are exceptions, but Dustin Hopkins is not in that group. To so me, you, are you in like C- Justin Tucker? I pay him because he did it for a bunch of years in a row. A ton of Dustin them. Hopkins had been just a guy, and he had a great year last year. But we've seen this a million times before with kickers. They're good one year. They suck. Kickers are like relief pitchers in baseball. You can't trust them from year to year, <laughs> unless, except for the like. I know he was bad in the playoffs, but I know Class A is going to be good next year. There's a handful of guys. Same thing with kickers. I know Justin Tucker is going to be good year from year, right? Or whoever the next best kicker is, the next top two. But, like, Dustin Hopkins is one of these random dudes. Yeah, yeah. To pay him was stupid. Now, ultimately, you know, Jimmy spends crazy money, so it probably doesn't matter. But Well, my thing with Dustin is he did this last year. It would be situations where he missed extra points just randomly. Like, I don't know what that's about. Now, as far as the kicks go, he was pretty good. I think he, what he missed last year, like two, three, three kicks maybe? Something like that? He was 31 of 33. And oh, what's two. he so far this year? Seven of 10. Yeah, he's already missed three kicks. <laughs> and, and, and I'm a – but, but, but extra points, he always – I don't know what his deal is on extra man, points. He, he, he be – Man, I spot shadowed this dude. Hook him horns. He had a, he had a huge, huge uh, blunder – against the Jacksonville Jaguars by going off sides on the kickoff, nullifying oh, yeah. a, whole, a whole fumble that we got inside yeah. the 20-yard line. Also, on top of that, he's not kicking the ball where he's supposed to be kicking the ball at, bro. And on these, it, You're supposed to be angling the ball to a certain side. You kick it in the middle of the field and wonder why they take it back. Yeah. And by the way, this is he why. kicked after that opening kick straight did down Charlie the middle. Charlie Jones yeah. even get touched? He did. And he ran. And oh, that's a tactical error. You're supposed to put that on the doing? right. You're supposed to put that like and, and dang there on the sideline. And, side and if you don't, <laughs> just have, and, and then here's the problem. He don't even seem like he got the leg to kick it out of the end zone. I bet you he kick it out of the end zone now. Did Charlie <laughs> Jones get touched on that play? I can't even remember. No. Did not. It was the biggest hole and, since and like, the let's face it, you, you get even more negative points when you let, let a white guy return at 160. Yeah, that dude hurt a little, it hurt I mean, a little bit. Let's be, let's be, Unless it's Wayne That's very, it it's very honest. And, and, I, and oh, I will tell you this, too. The most disappointing part about this is if this if we weren't so bad and we this wouldn't be funny. This is why I get on Kevin Stefanski all the time. And y'all can put the cape on for Kevin all you want. That's cool. Kevin Stefanski has three to four things that he does a game that you're like, what are you thinking about? What was it this time? Deontay Foreman. I don't get that. <laughs> is a short yardage goal line. Did Darden get hurt or something? Isn't that the special teams coach fault? Bubba Ventura? Yeah, I think that's Bubba. That's not the fans. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's like saying, that's like saying. I couldn't resist. That's like saying because Mikey McNuggets be like, yo, you, you sitting here producing the whole show. If Anthony put the stuff in wrong, whose job, whose fault is that? Mike's. That's a good point. I just told him to fix the graphic because he we had a who's hey, right. But so, we bust Anthony's chops. We don't bust. The, was, but no, but the, no was Jalen right. Darden hurt? Falls, That's the question. It falls. He. I don't know what's going. They just signed him. I'm, no, I'm saying like. What, what? What, did he take every kicker? Because I know Jalen Dart was part returning. Who, who no, Darden played. He, he played, played over Elijah Moore early yeah. in this game. It was the whole weird. Remember Stefanski said. Elijah was suspended for the first two Yeah, what is that? That's so stupid. Well, let's ask Mary Kay. She, maybe she'll know. She's coming on in five minutes. Uh, De- Deontay Foreman is a slow, plodding, not quick 
fullback bodied what a yeah. running back maybe that is returning kicks <laughs> for you and then he drops the ball inside the 10 <laughs> saunters up wait wait up slow. wait a minute saunters. wait can i can i can i you gonna Jeez, defend the Deontay i'm gonna Dude. try to take a shot take Dude, a shot hear Christmas, me out man. Yeah. hear me out i'm not saying i'm right i'm just i'm trying to throw something out there yeah when you look at the new kickoff rules it's kind of similar to an offensive line right and running backs usually have good vision. So, like, maybe they thought, like, it's so, like getting a hand off and you just pick a hole So, and go why not it. let Pierre Strong do it? I don't know. I'm just guessing. He's I'm just trying to throw something out there to be, like, to make it, like, all right, that kind of makes sense a little bit. And where is, uh, <laughs> what's his name? The guy who's the return guy who, for the Crochet? Colts? Naheem Hines oh. is still. He's still hurt. Well, what's with him? He's been out a year and a half now. That's uh, the timeline for Browns injured. players that get injured. <laughs> the timeline is if you injure, you come back six months after the date the doctor that's, says. That's true. These well, dudes. Some people, some of them might not have needed to come back. At all. And by, <laughs> and, 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 I can't believe he and, did. <laughs> and you're trying to get. And, and here's the thing. The second thing is we talked about DTR and Winston. I forgot to mention this. Yeah. What's with this secret agent? G14 classified Ridiculous. stuff they did. We're not going to let the te- other team know or the guy that's playing that, that they're going to play the game. Jameis had no idea he was the backup quarterback. I'm sorry. DTR. DTR had no idea he was the backup quarterback as of Friday afternoon. And this is the second time he did it. Yeah. That's why I said they'd be throwing him out there. Bro, thi- this is you, – you can't make this stuff up. And, and by the way, Aditi just said it. I did, what are you guys doing? What's, what are you guys doing on the sideline? This is maddening. This is all this attention to detail. My thing is, I've been saying that guys, who does it fall under? You, the quarterback's gone. Amari Cooper is gone. All of that is gone. That's on the dude sitting there with the clipboard, man. Ultimately, yes, it is. You're right. This is this is funny. This is high school. Well, you've been saying for a couple of weeks now that his, his even his offense don't even appease you. No. Say this a uh, Minimoski. Uh, so <laughs> as you would like to say, I'll, I'll, I'll say Minimoski. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. G sent me like six slides of offensive plays, and I'm thinking, hey. I'm like, oh, this. I'm thinking he asking me how would I defend this. I'm he like, asking me why don't we, we don't do got this? That play. Like, we ain't asking all that. We ain't got this play. <laughs> Bull, I mean, yeah. I, and this is a question. Mary Kay, we can ask her, and we'll, we'll talk about this. And this is a philosophical question. Mm. You put it in the comment section. Let me ask y'all this. Y'all going, y'all in the, in the, in the midst of dra- trying to draft another quarterback. Do you want to draft another quarterback and the system that he's going to play in is this one? What are you talking about? I don't even know Wait, what's, what's happening What What right system now. are you referring to? Like, we, we, this, we've gotten this, away from special teams. This yeah, hodge, yeah, we, that's right. right. We did. This, ho- yeah. <laughs> this hodgepodge of nothing. Well, G, G, let me ask you this. We'll get back to that. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get into the, the quarterback. That's the and style all of offense. The ho- does, it's called hodgepodge of nothingness. Does Bubba Ventrone, <laughs> G, I know you said it's mostly on Stefanski, but they brought in Bubba Ventrone. To yeah, he deserves some like, criticism, like, too. Oh, has he not done a good enough job, in your opinion, this season? Bro, he. I don't even know what he do. I, I don't like. What do you, mean you don't know under, what he uh, does. No, he has. He's had no mark on the game. Nope, he has not. He his, we ain't had a mark on special teams since Josh Korea. Excuse he, me, Travis Benjamin. I think he, took one to the they career. They consistent. Oh, we need it. It, there's, <laughs> it, there's a few things that stay consistent. We can't find another defensive end to go with Miles Garrett, and we can't re- find nobody return kissing Josh Cribs. <laughs> they put fullbacks in Donovan People Jones back there. Like, I don't understand, like, what, like, I don't get it. Like, this yeah. is not that difficult. Your kickers miss kicks. Your onside kicks is, is terrible. That was, that That's was the worst. worst onside kick I've ever seen. Yeah. Psych. We about to go this way. <laughs> and they, they picked the ball like, mm, game time. You had a tight end, like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They, they didn't even, they didn't bother what, falling what, down. What, it, what more can you do? They, they like, changed the rules to where you can't really do anything. Uh, like yeah, that. but you could at least, like, some of the guys can kick, kick the ball and get a bounce. bounce or he something. just kicked. I was you, like. What, you think he didn't try? No. That it, was whether his, he tried or not, <laughs> he did a bad job. He, I'm like, man, so you can't. Re- and then you, listen, it's Nick Chubb. What about? You, the Nick Chubb has returned. Your team, the defense is playing good at Tyvis. They gave up 14 points. They gave up four. Their goal was to give up 17 or less. And you let this dude walk down the middle of the field. Open the Red Sea. So, Bubba Ventrone, I I don't know what your mark on the game is. I don't know what you do. We might have to start calling him Ray. 
<laughs> he yeah. may lose. Yeah, his he nickname. may lose Bubba. I agree. You're right. I, I I had to strip John Jonathan Johnson. Yeah. Um, you talking about Jay, Jay. <laughs> Philip? Philip Walk. I've stripped the, the I don't, I mean, Bubba. Listen, I used to be Bubba when you ran down on kickoffs, but the rest of these dudes. No, your name. Your, what is his name? Realize? Ray. Ray. Raven Trump. Yeah. I believe there's a whole culture thing over there right now to where you're just not getting the most out of these guys anymore. You know, last year you probably they have run through a brick wall because they believed yeah. in the season. When you lose and the magnitude that you lose, it gets harder and harder to continue to go out there and sell your body out. For what? That's where you get for what? Like, we ain't, we ain't winning no games. I ain't, mm-hmm. We ain't doing nothing. It gets You start to let that creep in yeah. your mind, and you start getting the effort and the results that what, you get. And they're a 10-and-a-half-point dog this week at home. A 10-and-a-half-point underdog. Probably should be more the way the way Derrick – I'm scared of this Derrick Henry thing, boy. Whew. By the way, and it, it, it's so funny because remember we had that big, like, 80-yard run yesterday? We got like went from like the five to the five, something mm-hmm. like that, whatever it was. Who? There? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Not us. right before that play. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I was like, "What are you talking who about?" Who's doing the game? I can't remember who was calling the game. Who was the play by play uh, guy? Wasn't it Troy Aikman Joe Buck. and Joe right, Buck? Right, Buck. I, I think it was right before that play. Joe Buck was like, "Yeah, Derrick Henry hasn't really done anything tonight." He Boom. He mushed him. A, a, well, a, the reverse a, mush. An opposite mush. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you, you know, when Lamar first came, uh, that draft. Right, it's so funny because Josh that Rosen draft, is the only one that ain't hit. Josh Rosen was my favorite quarterback in that draft. Mm. I, I think I, I, I you I, said for pers- personal reasons. I, I think I let the fact that he was Jewish and there's no Jewish players in the NFL get uh, bi- make Cl- me biased. He, he, he was he was doomed when he yeah, said he something about if I don't make it, I'll be fine. The rest of these guys might yeah, be yeah, yeah, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. He Terrible. lost a lot right there. My second favorite was Baker, believe it or not. My third favorite was Lamar. My fourth favorite was Allen, and I thought Sam Darnold was going to be a bust, and it looked like I was right until this year. But I like Lamar coming out of college, and he was he was a – some people was like, he's going to be a receiver, which was beyond stupid. And Lamar's career got off to a great start. But then for two years, he was not that good. He was middling. He got hurt. He was just – but, man, since those two years – he has come back, and he's even better than he was. I gotta say, I'm so impressed with how he's playing. He's incredible, and we get to see he him is in phenomenal Cleveland. Phenomenal right now. 